YouTube faithful, what is going on? We are back with another edition of, wait for it, I think I'm gonna call it third and yarn. Absolutely, somebody said first and yarn, but I think third and yarn instead of third and long is gonna be the name of these NFL showdown shows, baby, because I think that's hitting. So I know it's late in the day and I know that the slate's coming up soon, but I kind of faded MLB today. I did a little bit, but I'm gonna go over the NFL showdown today. We're gonna talk about DraftKings. We're gonna talk about prize picks, throw in some underdog. We're going to do it all. But first, I got to give a shout out to me and the community for a week one master class. Lottie Jabroni's out there doing a lot of things, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what they're doing. The only thing that matters are did they help you understand anything new that you didn't know on your own and B, help you get a W? And if not a W, did they help you learn how to create Ws? Because it's a long season, baby. Let me talk to you. So, Oh, last night, the primary three, man, was right here. Bang! Stafford, Gibbs, Laporta. Everybody is crazy. Cap, you're going under on Laporta? Absolutely. Did you see what happened in the afternoon slate? The tight ends weren't tight ending, baby. They were getting shelled. So I stuck with the trend. I wasn't interested in Laporta. I scripted the game as follows. I said, Stafford's going to be throwing from behind, and that would lead to a ground and pound from old Lions. And luckily, I got right. Gibbs was running his tail off. Montgomery was running his tail off. I could have shipped the showdown on DraftKings if I didn't get Puka injured. My captain also had this little two-piece. I gave these out before the late game because it seemed like everybody was going ham. Dan had himself a good day. As you could see, he won 400, 200. I think he won almost a thousand. So shout out to Dan. This was my uh, day yesterday, my Sunday. As you can see, 41 units and actually it was more like 50 because I still haven't had a slip settled yet. So I had like a 50 unit day overall it's absolutely good captain goal wannabe wants to be captain crush he tailed he added in this prop which i don't mind this was the other three man that i did demarcus david sam laporta if you put all the things i gave you together you could have had 25x easily and how you ask let me show you look at all these people that were winning and 90 percent of you dogs don't even post under the winning slips because you're poverty mark's world had himself a wall of green he listens at least west brick he took dan three and my three and made a six man because and he luck boxed his way into green i mean it's absolutely cinema here cup kyron gibbs laporta montgomery robinson it's insane that he got lucky and did that congrats to you westbrook you sell job the faceless man coming through in the clutch osprey i don't even know who osprey is but he looks like he dealt ds28 finally tailed me bro never tails me I, I every time i see this guy do a lineup it's something that i didn't do he finally tails me and he did a variation of it because he didn't trust the 270 but it is what it is he got his double up leon did some wmba finagling tailed the nfl one as well turbo tailed he cashed ben tailed he cashed here it is all four of these guys well he took golf's rushing yards i took uh something else for golf. i forget what i took for i don't think i took golf robinson gibbs stafford he added golf whatever he used the projection the projection sheet had him going over if you'd like it and then here I am right here. Check this out. And then I'll move on. Cash this. Second half. Read the script. Cash it. This was the first half. The full game. Cash that. Full game. Cash that. Puka Nukua. More 19 half. I love that. Three. So that's three right there. You add in Robinson and Stafford. You would add 10x. And then I had the kickers as well. I mean, I look at this. It's Walla Green. And then for my free square, I paired it up with old Tyreek. He came through. Now, there was a lot of sell jobs yesterday on that main window. But at the end of the day, Okay. I had to wait a long time, seven, eight days for Aaron Jones to come through and he cashed me. I'll take it. 50 unit. Now I'm opening with this because some of y'all don't understand. So I got to get you in the mix. All right. This is what I do for NFL. If you're interested, I post projections that look like this. I did it for tonight's slate too. This was for the other one. I do it for every slate and MLB for DraftKings. I give you all stack write-ups that look like this. And I give you my player pool that look just like that. And the stacks that I gave out absolutely smashed. Baker made field and evans won somebody the millie i mean i was all over it baby and then obviously i have today's projections out for the night game and so forth it's all ran under the discord and dub club and there's going to be a live stream tonight at 6 p.m central an hour before lock and we're going to cook the final pieces so for now for this video let's talk about it we got the jets 
versus the Niners. Pa versus T, maybe. I don't know. Actually, these teams are actually pretty good. I'm just trolling a little bit. Three and a half point spread, 43 and a half point total. I would probably go over 42.5 and less at 43.5, but I'm not a betting man when it comes to this stuff. Look at this. 92% of the people are on the Niners to win this game. The disrespect to Aaron Rodgers is absolutely cinematic, y'all. I mean, it's cinematic. Now, we don't have any data on Aaron Rodgers with this team because he only played like two snaps, one snap, and then he his swish cheesed his leg, the poor guy, but now he's back and God willing, he's going to go out there and he's going to absolutely deal. And this tool that I got right here to help me with NFL is absolutely crispy. Outlier bet. Links in the description. Code crush. Get you your free seven days. Garrett Wilson owns the target share, baby. 168 targets. 29% of the target share. Number two is a running back. And then Tyler Conklin, who, 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 who's on my bench because he didn't even make the cut in my fantasy football team that I put up 140. Oh, yeah. 140 week one. Sturdy didn't even see it coming. I cooked everybody in the discord league it wasn't even close nobody could even beat my team and that is exactly how it's supposed to be but you want to know how good my team is comment guy i got conklin sitting on the bench he didn't even make the start and cut and his target share is 15 percent of those guys on his team but cap they got other receivers there they got my it doesn't matter what they got garrett wilson is the guy and now he's got a qb to boot and I am here for it. So you better believe that old crushy crew is taking Garrett Wilson. 69 and a half reception yards. Absolutely. And another thing that I like, my goodness, I just showed you. Number one and two outside the running back, Mr. Hall. They get the lion's share of the target. Bang. Anytime touchdown for Conklin and Wilson. Conklin gets in the red zone. Bang. Rogers drops back. Bang. Quick slant. Little button hook dump off. You got to love cinema, man. I can script it perfectly. Wilson, quick slant. Either one of those ways gives you options to score a touchdown. I'm getting in the mix on both of these gents. And I hope they cook. Now, if you don't want to take that one, you could take this one. 49 and a half receiving yards. As you found out on a Sunday, even the players that are elite can sell. Jefferson didn't get there. Lamb didn't get there. My favorite play, Evan Ingram, didn't get there. It happens, y'all. Just because it's a good read, just because it's a good play, doesn't eliminate the fact that we're still, at the end of the day, playing a game here, folks. It ain't guaranteed. So, either one of these two, the yards, I also like his fantasy score. I also like longest reception at 22.5. I think he could get a 23-yard reception. He does get yards after the catch. Absolutely. It's in play, baby. So, I went ahead and took those. He's probably going to be the thumbnail. He's probably going to be looking like the play of the day if it wasn't for mr rogers 233 and a half passing yards now this could absolutely burn like fire baby burn like fire but i don't care man i'm willing to lose coin i'm up 50 plus units on the week and i'm ready to go into monday night and i'm ready to go down with the ship aaron Rodgers, the man had a full season to recoup and heal and perfect his craft and he's coming back chip on his shoulder just like old crush he's gonna be playing to win and I think he's going to deal. 234 passing yards. He's facing an offense that can put points on the board at will. They got Purdy, Kittle, Debo, Brandon, and not to mention a little running back by the name of CMC. And they're coming to crush. So you got to keep all that in mind. If you think Rodgers is going to be throwing from behind, well, 234 passing yards is the way to be. I mean, look at my boy Baker Mayfield. Four touchdown passes. The man cooked Mike Evans to Baker Mayfield. I mean, what else did you need, guys? The Bucks respect coin all season long. That's what I've been telling you guys over and over. The Bucks respect coin. You always got to have exposure to the gunslingers. And Aaron Rodgers is a gunslinger. Now, he's going to have Wilson. He's going to have Mike Williams, who's projection and this is actually pretty low i think he could get that and he's gonna have Brees hall now Brees hall is a different breed of animal i understand he's a man amongst boys i get all that the only reason i'm not full gung-ho on Brees hall is because i want aaron Rodgers to cook tonight and since i want him to cook that's what i want to root for i will say this 20 and a half rush yards in the first five attempts i think these propositions these stats are fine if you want to take them they're extremely volatile but all he needs to do is run the first one for seven six seven yards and then you're pretty much 
you're pretty much locked in because if he gets four more carries at two yards a pop, you're going to be right around 15. And he should get more than two yards a carry on average. So I think that's okay. But the whole world is on Brees Hall anytime touchdown, y'all. The whole world. Don't believe me? Check this out. 282,000 people are on this over half rush reception TD. And the next best thing is Christian McCaffrey. 337,000 people are on this too. For that reason, I kind of want to sit this one out. It's not that it's a bad play. I just want to go elsewhere. Christian McCaffrey, 100%, I have exposure to because he just has way too many ways to get in the end zone. They get to the goal line. They're giving it to him. He can catch it. He can wheel route. He can screen pass. I mean, the man is a beast. So let's not disgrace the name of Christian McCaffrey and act like he can't get a touchdown on opening night. I mean, I'm telling you, the man cooked. Is he going to get a touchdown? I couldn't tell you, bro. That's the most volatile thing to do. Predict who's going to get in the box. Your guess is as good as mine, but I will have exposure to it. So I'm going to let Rodgers cook. And then Greg Zerline, more one and a half field goals, is going in my lineup. I'll tell you this. I've said it before. On primetime games, I love these field goal kickers. I just love them, especially in lower scoring games. One and a half field goals made for Greg Zerline. I will take a shot on it. If they get down to the 35-40, they're going to be conservative. They're going to take the points, especially versus the Niners. They should be wanting to get as many points as they can. All right, so that's my analysis for the Jets. Now, on the other side, you can take the chalk, which is going to be Christian McCaffrey. Now, when I say chalk, I mean the most popular play. I'm not saying he is chalked. I'm just saying that's going to be the most popular play. And then personally, I like Brandon Ayuk less for receptions. There's rumor mills. There's news going around that he will be somewhat limited tonight on a snap count. Now, sometimes they say that and it ends up being hot garbage and it's not true. So you never really can know. Take with a grain of salt until underdog specifically confirms it via x but i will take this personally i gotta disclose this my projection model has brandon Ayuk soaring tonight but it's not accounting for him being on a snap count it does have him going over his yardage which is where is it at they might have taken it no there it is 48 and a half receiving yards i think my model has him at like 57 now normally that'd be a slam dunk but because of that snap count i'm gonna just fade it but that's me instead i went less on the receptions and just hope that he doesn't get a lot of receptions but again guys you gotta know when you take less on the number one receiver on the team you're playing with fire it worked for st brown last night though didn't it didn't it now you got the jack of all trades the man the myth the legend debo samuel jack of all trades master of none the man rushes he's a king of yards after the catch i think his rush plus receiving yards is fine which would be right here. I do think that's fine. But again, I really don't really know where I'm going to go with this offense other than the Christian McCaffrey anytime TD. So what I did end up doing was Brock Purdy. I took more on his rushing yards. I think that's absolutely crispy. And then there's another one that I like, which I'm going to just not talk about because this video is getting too long. But either one of those, I did want to focus on the Jets. Now, let's go over to DG and see if there's any market value. And lo and behold, the top bangy bang bang is Brandon Ayuk left four receptions i had no idea hand to god i didn't know that that was popping up there less at four is 53.9 they got it at minus 140 i'm taking it christian mccaffrey less fantasy score you already know that that's gonna be a sweat so i'll let better minds decide on that one for me i told you what i did aaron Rodgers less two and a half rushing yards I don't know, man. Aaron Rodgers can move his feet when he's done, but is he going to take the risk coming back from the uh, injury that he had? Your guess is as good as mine, brother. Anytime they rush out of the pocket, they can get three yards. The question is, is he going to move out of the pocket? You never know. I think if you see a lot of blitz packages, maybe that could be in play or if the pocket collapses, you you know, your guess is as good as mine. But mostly what they have here is plays for next week. You could see Brock Purdy's rush attempts over two and a half is getting some steam. It's three and a half on fan. Duel. I think that's totally fine. McCaffrey, more four and a half receptions is absolutely fine. Gibson, under 13 and a half receiving yards. Those are the type of guys that'll win you a showdown slate on DraftKings, man. I'm telling you. Ayuk and Wilson over 119. Listen, if Ayuk wasn't on a snap count, this would be the this would be the nut play tonight. I think it's a still a good play. I mean, last night I had Brown and Cup in a combo, and Cup carried by himself. Brown didn't get anything, and they still almost got there. I believe that these have the most equity when you do are doing football, by the way. Because one receiver can have a hundred yard day and carry everything, man. It's 
it's it's absolutely critical but then as you see you start scrolling down the, the list it starts to get dicey conklin over three receptions he's three and a half on other books garrett wilson fantasy we talked about that and then i don't want to get into next week and until later this week probably wednesday or thursday i'll have a sunday night video i'm not sure how that schedule is going to go yet but it's imperative that you get this tool because it'll give you all the value for nfl mlb nba all of the sports y'all quickly compare them to the projection sheets in the discord and bang you're in the mix in fact david festa and reed detmers i already like both of these guys and now that they have a combo at 11 and it's popping here at 54.8 i'm 100 percent taking this play you cannot stop me detmers can get four to six and so can festa if they both get six it's cash bang so you want to get this don't you it's critical especially for nfl they even have an ai sl slip generator that does the work for you look at this i mean it's insane all you have to do is use code crush 35 on their quarter package and you're gonna get 35 percent off the links in the description i mean they're giving it away y'all so let's go back over to prize picks before we hop on over to DraftKings, and you could do something just like this and get 5x you could take rogers and wilson now what is the correlation if you take rogers pass yards with wilson's receiving yards it's gonna dock you for correlating the lineup but if you take his fantasy score it doesn't penalize you so that is the workaround pair it with the mlb this is 5x or you could take out wilson and just do that for 3x or you could do vice versa that would be a fine play and as you can see they bumped it up to 11.5 which is unfortunate if you want to eat that bump go ahead it probably won't be my scene baby so now let's talk about DraftKings showdown and here you go the game kicks off in about two hours and we have all the news you can see McCaffrey's questionable but he's playing folks you pick a captain and then five spots underneath that and you hope to ship it all yesterday I should have shipped it all but I got sold by Nakua at captain swap in cup up there and my lineup underneath was perfect I still doubled up came in the top hundred it is what it is tonight script the game pick your captain my personal take is I like to take receivers. I feel like they have the highest upside that can win you a slate. They can break the slate wide open. Running backs can do it too. So can quarterbacks, but I feel like receivers are where the edge is. My captain tonight is most likely going to be Garrett Wilson, y'all. Okay, the receivers on here aren't that great per se. There is a lot of firepower, but not necessarily as a number one receiver. But I think Wilson and Rodgers will be staples in my lineups. You know what, guys? I might even fade Rodgers because even if he gets 234 yards, he may not get two or three touchdowns. I'm going to have to wait and see how I feel about this. I do think he gets 15 fantasy points, though. Obviously, if you do like the receiver, you got to like the quarterback. But I, I just, Aaron Rodgers is a lot of unknown. So maybe I should just brace, embrace the unknown, to be honest with you. Remember, everyone's going to be putting Christian McCaffrey at captain, the common man, the average person that plays this. Rightfully so. I mean, Christian McCaffrey is a goat. But you want to put yourself in a position to win, meaning like you're going to hope that he doesn't overperform in the captain spot and if you fade him now you have leverage on all those lineups that took him and you have a chance to get first place so whoever your captain is go with it if you're playing 20 lineups make sure you put them in at least 15 of 20 take a stand we have like three primetime showdown slates a week and at least you will always have another chance so take a chance go with your gut go with your reads don't worry about losing you're gonna lose 80 percent of the time playing DraftKings, specifically showdown but that 20 percent of the time you do win you want to put yourself in a position to win it all so take a stand and do what you're gonna do now i think zerline is good in there so let's just say we took wilson i think zerline is good he has equity as a kicker being 4400 both of the kickers are in play remember it's prime time if you think it's going to be low scoring you could do that and then you could take obviously hall McCaffrey and then I can't show you a full lineup but this would leave you 4300 I believe that this is going to be a popular build to be honest with you but then this doesn't have Aaron Rodgers keep that in mind but I feel like these three right here these are going to be like a core staple in my lineups you can do five and one you can do four and two three and three I'm talking team splits whatever you feel like you want don't forget about Kittle too he's also in the mix same thing with Conklin he's down here one of these scrub receivers might be the key to the entire slate 
the Gibsons, the Lazards, the Jennings of the world. I mean, you, you got to understand this stuff too. Sauce is going to be on Brandon IU, which may open the door for somebody else. Debo Samuel, all these guys, man. This is why this is so fun. You can get creative and do whatever it is you want to do. Now, combine all this stuff with what you heard from the prize picks and just cross it over. Now, we're going to have a live stream in a roughly 45 minutes from now on the Discord where we will go over last minute projections and last minute showdown advice and make lineups together. So go to captaincrush.net, scroll down. It is the gold package. Silver is just some five to seven plays every day, but the gold package will get you into the Discord, which gives you access to the live streams, my projection sheets, my daily prop plays, my player pools, all of it. Dub Club hosts the site and it's all run through my Discord. So one month, $24.99 or the six months for $125. Sign up with any of my partners. I do give you 30 free days to try it out. If you like it, you'll stick around. If not, whatever, bro, it's on you. So I hope to see you there in the live stream. There is a bunch of discounts on Chalkboard today. I'll put one in post edit right here. This is one. They have one for Purdy, Aaron Rodgers. You can pair them with anything that you see on the daily prop list. And then my partners at Underdog, they have a 20% profit boost right now, plus vulture protection. So what you could do, take Christian McCaffrey, anytime touchdown, and Aaron Rodgers, it's a scorcher, one and a half passing TDs, or his passing yards, or even just Garrett Wilson, the 22 and a half longest reception. Now, a lot of things are changing with the Jets. P sites are taking them off, putting them back on. I'm not sure what news is dropping, but remember, these guys have guys' boots on the ground looking at everything. So maybe they see something they don't like. Maybe they know the game plan that, you know, all these things take into account. Remember to go light. It's week one. By week four, the Pistons will be firing. We'll have more data to go off of but i think these three for underdog are fine use code crush get your deposit match get 30 free days of the cord and a free square they've stepped up their game and so should you i appreciate you guys tuning into the video here's the salute good luck in all your contests and as always my brothers and sisters in christ let's crush